Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. Woo, have we got a lot to cover tonight. If you're new, my name is Kaya. Welcome. I do a little bit of everything over here. Reacts, hauls, news, tea, drama, and everything in between. Hence the word Kaya Simon's Life. So if you're new, thank you so much for joining me. Let's get right into what is shaking. So, about a year ago, a little over a year, we covered a channel called J Station. I am J Station and the Dream Team. Well, J Station we covered was doing this big scandal that his girlfriend, Alexia, was in a car accident and she died. And, of course, it was fake fraud. We covered it. Check out my videos if you're lost in between what is going on. We also covered his ex-girlfriend, Aiko, which Aiko said that Jay was abusive. And that's where, you know, things kind of come into play with what is kind of suspecting why the channel kind of, in a way, got terminated. The pieces to the puzzle fall together. So... Jay had this girlfriend named Alexia, and Jay proclaims that Alexia went to the police and filed a fake, you know, saying that, you know, he was abusive and he isn't. Now, what is interesting with that is, is Iko basically said the same things that Jay was always, you know, watching her next move. She wasn't allowed to go anywhere. Uh, check out the Ico video. We're not going to get completely into that, but I just kind of want to give you a basis of kind of the character here that basically Ico said that she wasn't allowed to go see her family and wanted to go to college. And Jay was like, wouldn't you rather make videos? Ico was like, you know, college is more stable. You know, who knows how long this YouTube thing could go on. So what is Jay Station known for? Jay Station is known for his 3 a.m., his far out there. So some of the things that we covered in the videos a while back was buying Africans American, buying African Americans off the dark web. And if you see me looking over, I got my notes here. Um, he did buying a kid off the dark web, the gay potion and all that. You guys know how I feel about that. So what J Station's audio audience was based out of was a lot of younger kids, if you noticed in the comments. Um, even during my videos covering the fake Alexia death, there were kids in the comments, parents were saying, you know, hey, do you know if this is real? Even one of my friends had their son upset and they said, you know, Kaya, do you know if this is real or fake? My son is upset. I'm trying to explain to him that this is probably for clout that it is fake. So... You know, do whatever you do, call in Spongebob at 3 a.m., etc. But once you start, you know, making children think that there's a potion they could drink, I mean, he would paint his fingernails and act, you know, that is obscure to me. That is the wrong message to send. So what they did was, in memorial of Alexa dying, they created this channel called The Dream Team, and he said it was her wish that The Dream Team would hit, I think it was a million or something, don't quote me, but... Long story short, he ended up changing the channel name to 666. Yeah. Um, he ended up getting rid of, I think the 3 a.m.s just started kind of, you know, it was trending at one point, but it stopped gaining momentum. So then he started doing reacts, playing like haunted games or horror, things like that. He always kind of kept like a spooky genre, but it was mainly based towards a younger audience. Um, so now we're going to get into what has happened. Um, he also, a big controversy with him. Sorry, I keep, I've got so much written down here. That he would, Mac Miller, XX, Atens, Extension, excuse me. I know I always pronounce that wrong, no disrespect. But calling Kobe Bryant at 3 a.m. after his death, things like that. Mac Miller, um, Different people that would pass, he would call them at 3 a.m. or try to summon them up. It just was very distasteful and just unsettling to me. Like I said, do all the SpongeBobs, call in vampires, this, that. But then he would also bring in, you know, things about animals. You guys know how I feel about animals. Animals are not content. That is another thing we have coming up. Check me out. Subscribe if you like. We're going to start busting off. A lot of the things I'm doing right now is the fake weight loss, weight gains community. So that's where Amberlynn Reed, Foodie Beauty, different things like that. If you're new to my channel, they are weight loss channels, but they gain and gain and gain and give bad health advice. So if you're new. So 
What we're going to be recouping into and starting into is the fake YouTube channels that set up animals as content and put them in dangerous situations saying that they're rescuing them, but they are literally putting these animals in the situation. Now, this is where one of Jay Station's buddies, um, Ahmed Mo, I think it is, um, we are going to be doing a deep dive into him, and that is something that we have coming up. So, Ahmed, excuse me, Mo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name. He is setting at one point million and some change, and what he does is he sets up fake things like going to Louis Vuitton dumpster diving, but he'll set up, you know, just for an example, he'll put this, he'll set up the stuff in the trash, you know, as props, and then pretend like he found it. Honey, all the bags were fake in the trash. He'll put all these things like finding, you know, 20 iPhones in the trash. But what he's doing is setting this up. Now, the other day I noticed, and we'll get into that in the video, but I just want to kind of give you a heads up what J Station's posse is. It's really anything for content, anything for the Almighty. They're in Canada. I don't know what Canadian currency is called, but anything for the Almighty dollar. So, Ahmed Mo. Excuse me, if you see my tripod move, it's my dog. But he does things like putting his dog in a box and saying that he found it. Well, down further in his content is this dog that is the same dog that he supposedly found in the trash. Uh, sticking his hand in a fish tank. Using goldfish that are feeder fish um, to set, you know, basically exploiting animals for content. But we'll get into that down the road. Let's get back to Che. Let me rein it in. So, Jay just couldn't leave as is. So, Keemstar made a video, check it out, I watched it last night, where he did like a parody, a comedy skit of calling Jay Station's channel at 3 a.m. And it was absolutely hilarious. So, what Jay must have done was seen and that scene that Keem made the video. And he docks Keemstar twice now. Put out his address and his name. That is what doxing is. If you're new, doxing is basically... Sorry, putting somebody's information address out there, their personal info. But Jay couldn't leave well enough alone. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, Jay proclaims that he's going to sue YouTube. Good luck with that. I've seen a lot of people try, but I don't think anybody's ever successfully sued YouTube and won. Buddy, if you break terms of service, you break terms of service. That's how it is. Now, you can say, and I was confused too, his channel J Station is still up, but the 666, the AKA Dream uh, Team channel is gone, and the I Am J Station. He had three channels, but the J Station channel seems to be up. But from what I've gathered, if you have a channel terminated, you cannot make another one. So, okay, he couldn't leave well enough alone. He says he's going to make a new channel bigger than ever with not his face on. And let's get into uh, what he put out as a last statement. Well, one of his last statements, but I do not agree with any of this. I just want to show you guys what he said and how he's leaving this as, you know, he's like, well, McJuggernuggets and other people, you know, Dude, you were doing this death stuff constantly. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, don't quote me, but I think that McJuggernaut stated before that his content was for entertainment purposes. But, you know, you literally went out there with Alexia. You set up a fake side off the freeway. You let this play and play. And I think it was finally Alexia's dad that wanted her to come forth and say he was getting phone calls and wanted her to come forth and say, hey, I'm okay, just a heads up. Well, Jay didn't like that from what I've gathered doing my research and told her dad basically, hey, buddy, stay out of my business. I don't tell you how to make money. Let's get into what Jay says. Again, I just want to put this out there. Don't, you know, this is what this guy is projecting onto a younger audience, younger children. Let's get right into it. Again, if you're new to my channel, I'm a low-tech girl in a high-tech world, so sorry about the tablet. I'm kind of working on things, but we're just going to watch this a couple seconds of it, and yeah. I'm banned on YouTube. Um, I just want to say that COVID-19 is fake as fuck. Don't take the vaccine. Don't wear the mask. That shit will kill you if you take that vaccine. Uh, thank you guys for rocking with me for like five years. 
um, yeah, I can never get a YouTube channel again, so I guess you won't see me ever again. But that's cool. I, I'm going to go find a new way of, of life. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for... So you get the gist. Why bring COVID into it? I think that was in poor taste, you know... It's like you're burning all these bridges and then doxing Keem. I think it was on Twitter that he doxed Keem twice. Dude, are you trying to lose every platform that you have? I think Jay is super salty. This was his number one way of income. Um, YouTube is his job. Well, was his job and his career. So, I mean... I don't know, guys. I really think that, you know, it's sad to see somebody lose their platform. But when you're exploiting somebody's death and all these celebrities' death, that is in poor taste. And I can't believe that it took this long for something to happen. I don't like people using animals as content. Again, we're going to jump into a Ahmed... Ahmed Moe's channel in a next in another video. I've been researching the heck out of it. I mean, it is just video after video. He's also got his five year old, six, seven year old sister now in the videos. You know, I, I just find that kids and animals are not content. He's like taking his Ahmed Mo is like taking his sister out and pretending set, setting all this stuff up in the dumpster. You know, okay, whatever, but Kids and animals are not content. As far as I mean animals, as putting animals in bad situations, pretending like you're saving them. Who knows, the trash man could have came, you know, he left the dog in the box and then he pulls up. What if the trash man would have pulled up, the dog could have suffocated in the box. There are so many what ifs and you could say, well, Kaya, he only left the dog in the box for a little bit of time. That's still no excuse. You are projecting a Hamid... Excuse me if I'm saying his name wrong also. Ahmed Mo also has a very young audience that he's accumulated. How his channel has grown off of J-Station. So what you're showing these kids is, put this animal in this box. What happens if somebody doesn't make the video quick enough? The animal suffocates in the box and boom, there you go. An animal dies over trying to make content. I find that absolutely ridiculous. So I don't want to keep, you know, repeating myself, but we are going to dive in. There is tons of channels I've been researching that will put animals in you know, horrible situations and pretend like they're going to save them. All right, you guys, let me know uh, what you think of Jay Station and the deplatform. I think it's been a long time coming. I think the whole celebrity thing, like I said, poor taste, man. You know, you were making bank. You were getting the views. You know, it, it, it just seemed like he had to always one up himself to try to, you know, clout, I guess you could say. So let's get into our drink of the day. If you're new, I usually do a drink of the day and a snack of the day. We are going to do a snack of the day in another video because I really just wanted to recoup this and it's more of a serious video. So what I'm drinking is the David's Tea Black Tea Sweet Potato Pie. It says sweet, spicy, and marshmallowy. And let's take a swig here. It says low caffeine and it says steep three to five minutes and the tags always have what here all right let's get right into it i do like like look at all the bits of stuff you can see sorry okay so you really do kind of get like a kind of like a vanilla bakery smell Okay, so you really, the vanilla comes off. You do get a tiny hint of the marshmallow. I'm not getting a ton of the sweet potato, but I do get like a bakery vanilla, but this is good. I like it. Again, this is the sweet potato pie. All right, guys. Well, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. We have tons of stuff coming and we are going to crack into this. I know I kept saying it. If I'm a little stuffy, I had a sinus infection, I'm still getting over it, hence why I'm kind of like 
a little sweaty. I've been wiping my nose, etc. But we are going to get into the controversial Shane Dawson book, I Hate My Selfie. So we've got that coming up, you guys. We have got a lot we are about to crack into. Again, I, we were going to start this and I'm running behind. But don't worry, I haven't forgot about the book. So... Leave me a thumbs up, guys. Let me know in the comment, what do you think? Do you think it's fair or unfair that he lost his platform? Do you think this has been a long time in the making, or what do you think? All right, guys, have a great day, great night, and I'll see you later. Kaya is out.